Hello miners, Rusty coming at you with another Tucson review. Uh, this one is the second part of who wore it better and then of course we're going to do the conclusion. So this is the Tucson TS-194 and I don't know if we're going to see that on here. It is a Maswan Mokthar design and Maswan's got a couple of Tucson hits back in the oldies. I think it's a Orca TS-84. He's got a TS-193 that's kind of really trending right now. Many, many others. Uh, this one was a sent to me, of course, by Tang Lee. And this one was a customer return. And they, they say they returned it because it had spots on this blade, which I probably would have too. I don't know if it came that way from the factory or not. I did let Tang, Tang know, and uh, he's going to make sure... That's not a, an occurrence that happens. This will run you 125 on the Amazon store and 99 if it's not anodized. So just take a peek at, let's go over the outside here. Titanium scales, TC4 titanium I wanna say. Uh, we've got nice milling here, great texture. I know one viewer doesn't like holes in his knives, but that's not bad. T8 hardware, left or, excuse me, right or left carry. You can flip this pocket screw, which is titanium, and it'll fit in there with one screw. You can see how that's cut out. Contoured here. They have the pivot collars a lot of you guys don't like. And nice long backspacer. Milled titanium clip, same style as the, in fact, almost lined up there. And again, some more contouring. Jimp on the flipper tab. And we got this little fuller here, which, I'll open this up, you can use if you pinch the blade. I am not able to, well, I can tell you, you can thumb it. I just got lucky there. Uh, it takes a lot of getting used to. There's no way for me to finger flick. The fuller just is too smooth. So if you pinch it and then throw it, uh, and that's how you finger flick it. But let's take a peek at this flipper tab. Okay, that's nice. Could have some more authority okay but it's reliable this is d2 steel tucson does a nice job with their d2 they do a nice job with their blade grinds in my opinion opinion and with their finish so we have a flat grind which you might call a saber grind an early harpoon so that's what i love about their designers is they put all kinds of grinds in here we got this flat we've got the fuller we've got a tops wedge and uh, at the end of the day we have a useful cutting tool relatively thick blade stock no jimping come around here the maswan okay little finger cut out And with that, falls into place, and that's nice. That's moving up. This is not any kind of a move on top, like, like maybe like a Civivi or your Spider Comanix. You really can't get, yeah, when I do second finger, if I want to go that second knuckle, it's not quite there. It's a first knuckle kind of a thing. Take a peek at the lockup. And that's actually very good. So they have a steel, what we're going to call a liner lock. This is a steel um, bar that's screwed in from the inside into this. Have had this taken apart. It's got multi-row bearings. I think I might include the video for that either online or... Um, 
maybe in the description if you want to see what the inside looks like and what multi-roll bearings look like so okay what are you going to use for a comparison knife rusty yeah well we're not going to do the who wore it bet better just yet but we need a comparison knife so for half the money you can get the rake a rook p128 actually it's a little bit i'm seeing it right now on blade hq there was a time these went for 70 dollars i think I paid 70, 60 or 70 for this one. Um, you'll get them in a satin finish for $10 less. And they are a steel, what you would call handle instead of titanium. Not too bad for the, for the weight. And that's what we're looking at with the curvy, with the, contouring uh, 14c 28 end blade steel and but they're about the same size let's see Tucson wins obviously on the pocket clip in my opinion they win on the lockup the way to unlock them and on the opening now this one is fine it's just they're relying on that space it just it's just i don't know if it's strong or what but it doesn't unlock uh, as easy and it doesn't drop as easy so a little heavier a little bit less on the action it does have this little lock so you can keep it from closing so deeper carrier uh, deeper carry lighter weight d2 is a good steel it's not as stainless as 14c there's a lot of debate uh, but it will do better end retention in my opinion so better action just a better better looking knife twice the money so let's hear your thoughts and check out the next video who wore it better